my definition of getting it out the mud will necessarily say I'm working for what you want every day. Getting it out the mud to me is actually making a plan and making it happen from A to Z. It's Benji, CEO of Tulaness. I'm Damien, better known as Dollars, CEO of Tulaness. Tulaness is a, a southern staple streetwear brand that we um, just chose to take a direct approach on Southern when we uh, focused on streetwear. The meaning behind the name Tulaness is kind of hard to kind of put it in words, but it's actually the two line is if you go one line, two line, it's dollar sign. All about the dollars, currency collectors. We came up with the brand brainstorming about uh, just trying to have a new concept and actually create something that was more catered to us and like catered to the South and the Southern culture. We were always ambitious. Younger, we started off in um, performing arts, a performing arts school back in Mobile, Alabama. It was called Dunbar. So we were pretty much always on the creative side with um, things in life, of course, into sports and things of that nature also. The love for fashion was pretty much all always there. Just being Southern and, you know, your parents, like, sp specifically buying certain brands, uh, just from watching TV, 106 and Park, you know, MTV, just to, just to see what was actually going on in the world with, like, Jim Jones and those guys rocking different type of fashion and things like that. We always had it in our mind to just be fly fresh, but the business part of fashion kind of developed later in life when um, we kind of started to explore different avenues of fashion and had the lack of being able to get certain things growing up in a, such a small city in Mobile, Alabama. I wanted to create my uh, own clothing line. It started off trying to be individualistic, of course, like not to uh, have on the same thing as other people. And then as my business since broadened, I understood like what that people meant numbers. So I switched over to try to actually create a brand with numbers rather than a limited style brand. We were into the arts, so we've done um, all of the arts throughout life as far as art classes. I've been in um, drama. We've done orchestra. We've done choir. So we went to a performing arts school. So it was pretty much about the arts, and that's one thing that truly emerges fashion or the sense of being an individual with learning the arts throughout life. So fashion, we never created pieces, but we always drew and had ideas of logos and things that we wanted to see on clothing. So it was just a different type of respect for the arts and it kind of just grew into fashion and the clothing brand itself. My first design concept was actually a t it was a, a t-shirt that said I'm in my own world. It was a brand that we like I started right out of high school. My uncle actually gifted the the t-shirts to me for my graduation. Uh, one of our first marketing strategies we used with, with the streets, we used uh, the hygiene products as business cards. So we didn't initially sell socks to every customer. We gave them to them. Right. So we would pull up and the customer spend a certain amount. We would throw in some socks or something like that. Underwear. Right. Yeah, socks, underwear. We even came out with the- uh, Electric toothbrushes. Electric. Yeah, That's what, electric and they had their own boxes. First. It was a full presentation. It was just a thing to spend a, a certain amount to make sure you had that electric toothbrush. So that was a thing. It was always our goal to make sure that we had inventory available for our customers. We came in wanting to be a consistent brand. We knew that consistency would change the game and make us truly a Southern streetwear staple. I mean, you're going in and buying stuff that's already there for you. So when you think about a customer base, you want to have something for them to physically touch and physically get at that time. I mean, you can't have a business without consistency where every day that you can truly make a dollar. So that was pretty much our strategy and it led us to a gold mine. I feel like a lot of the brands and items when people saying, uh, you got six weeks out or it may take six months for you to receive a product. I just don't, I don't understand that concept. I don't want to spend my money now and then get something later that I know you have, that is in the time to make it. So it's like I paid to make it. The the biggest challenge is is letting go of self and like self gratification with uh with certain things because you're gonna figure out that it's business and people don't care about how you feel. 
you know so it's like when you have feelings into designs or numbers or your money you can't make anymore because business is not about feelings it's about facts i would say one of my biggest challenges during this journey is always the emerging growth making sure that you're growing as a businessman as a person learning daily what you're necessarily supposed to do to run a successful business, always being innovative, always being an uh, ever-changing business. So it's just truly the growth part because you're never perfect in business. It's always something to be better or grow in this aspect. So just pr truly growth. It's always about growth. Well, in order to make Tulaness a household brand, we invest our profits in, uh, in products that promote hygiene, socks, t-shirts, uh, toothbrushes. And uh, those are like marketing strategies that we take from, you know, bigger scale companies to understand like the more you see it, the more you identify with it. And then once you're able to repetitively see an image, once you see it in a bigger spot, you like, oh, I directly connect with that. Okay, so the first person to influence who wore the brand um, was VL Dick. We were in contact daily on a personal level and I kind of just told, called him one day and was like, bro, I got a brand. He was like, bring it over here. And <laughs> from that day, I mean, he's pretty much been one of the main influences in the mascot of Tulaness. Young Thug, Gunna, Pablo, uh, Lil Baby. A lot of organic relationships though. It was not nothing that was bought or anything like that. We were actually on the grind while other people were grinding and we were able to make connections in the grind. Of course, I mean, we definitely see it as something. Public liberation is big with us in our business, actually staying connected to the community that you come from. So it's big, we've done from football jerseys to back to school giveaways, scholarships, just everything to kind of keep it connected on all levels with the community that we actually grow from, being the change that we want to see. That's one of our motto. And as a business, you also have a responsibility to do that. So as a social responsibility, you have to do provide the consumer or the community that your business is in, or that provides your business, whatever it provides it, you have to serve that community as well. So it's in order to let people see that the product they're investing, their hard-earned money in, will actually give them something and invest in their lives as well. We've had a few sellout days, so it's kind of hard to scale on that. I would just say the time, one, one time we had a pop-up and it just did beyond what we what we thought it would be. We had a line like down the street and it was like, oh damn, like we might not need to do pop-ups. We, we may have enough influence to tell our customers to switch over to the website. And rather than going straight back and like doing another pop-up, we were like, oh, Let's focus on the website so our customer, so we'll spread our customer base and not sp focus on specifically one area. Oh, when it comes to design and creativity, everything is new. We t we stand on not making the same logo or product twice. So it'll come in maybe a color and a different color, but never the same thing since the beginning of the two on this. Oh, this one plays a major role in, the, in our success. Discipline is the main is the main thing. By the habits that we create, making my lifestyle repetitive, making what I do actually what I do, and not just something that I talk about. The um, work ethics that we abide by daily, being an ever changing and an evolving business. Everything else can come. I mean, you can pay for everything else. Like you can pay for a team, but if you're not disciplined within yourself, you won't have the money to pay the team. You won't have the money to pay your taxes. You won't have the discipline to stay down and get what's greater later. And actually working with your friends and your brother every day is a, definitely an environment where we have to stay disciplined. I mean, we live by simple rules. Right. right is right and wrong is wrong. And motivation, it's never a lack of motivation when you're doing what you love. So we love what we do. But as far as keeping it all together, I say that Damien is all about business. So we always motivated and grounded on business alone. So it's necessarily not a lack, stand on what's right or right. Wrong. Right, so to be motivated is a standard. It's not actually like something that you can come into work and not have. Like, right. The days, you gotta leave that at home. You gotta leave it at home at another job. I mean, it's your personal. Of course, we try to keep each other mentally stable, but your personal 
You can't bring that weight in there. That's not how it goes. You have to actually learn how to be a structured man to be around it. Never heard Southern Streetwear before you heard Toulon is. We are Southern Streetwear. Uh, the trap culture is what makes the South, you know, be the South. Um, so I think that's what makes it that the streets and like something like fashion is directly connected in the South. It's not a difference in between the two. Okay. So it's always, I mean, we always keep the environment changing because it's a creative space. We try to do new things with us. Being able to source different items, we're always looking to do something new. So keeping it fun, keeping it new, keeping the spark to it, and creating daily. So that's also a different, another opportunity to, to use our creative juices to make the office something new, just as we do with clothing and everything of that sort. And it also symbolizes growth. So a lot of things might have been more playful or like, they didn't have science behind it. Right. Our and creativity we, has science behind it. We use color psychology now and placement on walls and know what size the pictures or signs are supposed to be. So with growth, like those things have to change because it can be uncomfortable because like I said, it's wrong. Right. When you learn that certain things are supposed to be done a certain way, you have to change it anyway, or you're gonna be working in the wrong environment. My definition of getting it out the mud will necessarily say I'm working for what you want every day. Getting it out the mud to me is actually making a plan and making it happen from A to Z. It doesn't matter where you start, it matter where you're going. The effort that you put in daily to get it out the mud is my definition of getting it out the mud. Have a plan. After you have a plan, make some steps and then start to work. You can't work from nothing. I know people tell you like, you gotta start somewhere. Start somewhere by writing it down. Not necessarily saying, oh, I come from zero and I'm getting it out the mud. What are you actually doing every day to make sure that you out the mood.